to Vincenzo's Plate. In this episode we are going to make Vincenzo's Plate Angus Beef Burger. Yes, who doesn't like burgers? Everyone does. To make a Vincenzo's Plate Angus Beef Burger we need a few fresh delicious Italian ingredients and then we also need an extra ingredient which is the beetroot. Yes, well, when I first came to Australia, I wasn't very keen to have a burger with uh, beetroot. Here it's very popular, you know, but people from around the world don't really understand why the beetroot is in the burger. So I was like one of these people, like, mm, I don't really want it. When I first tried the first time a burger in Australia, I wasn't very impressed. Well, today, for me, Beetroot is a must-have ingredient for any burger. To make my burger, you need very simple ingredients. So we need an hamburger roll, Angus beef burger, two slices of tomato, one nice slice of prosciutto, uh, one slice of provolone cheese, some uh, salad, and then we need uh, some sliced beetroot, some dried mixed herbs, table salt and extra virgin olive oil. Before we do anything, we turn the oven on at 150 degrees. Just breathe it. And we're gonna place this uh, grilled pan on the stove at a medium heat so we can cook our Angus. Let's get the Angus beef and put it on the board. It would be easier for you to use this, otherwise you can use your hands. Just wash a little bit, just to make it a little bit bigger. Don't press too hard, otherwise you can break it. Just like this, be very gentle, and now we can place it on the grill. Let's put two tablespoons of uh, olive oil or extra virgin olive oil. The pan is on a medium heat. Now we're going to get a little bit of paper just to spread the oil. Be careful not to get burned. Spread the oil like this. Now we can place the meat on top. Now, after 10 seconds, just turn the meat quickly, so it doesn't get stuck there. Quickly. You do 10 seconds per side, and then quickly again turn it. You just want the top part to become brown. Because if it gets stuck on the pan, you'll waste some bigger. Now we leave it there and we wait until it cook. The best way to see when it's cooked, and of course you cook it the way you like, you should cut the middle part with a knife just a little bit and see how cooked it is. I like to have this uh, about medium well, so I'm gonna wait about I guess 7 to 10 minutes. Well, the beef is uh, almost ready, we need about 3-4 minutes to go, so it's time to uh, warm up the bread. So, Let's uh, get the slices, put some extra virgin olive oil. Now we're going to put the provolone cheese on top here with some mixed herbs and some mixed herbs here. Now let's put the bread in the oven for about 3 to 4 minutes. We'll just wait until the cheese melts. Now let's dress the salad. So we get the salad and we put it in a small bowl. We put shavu chunny oil, about one tablespoon, a pinch of salt, and we mix it. If you like to put balsamic vinegar, I will recommend it to you to put just a tiny bit of balsamic vinegar and it will make a big difference. Our bread is ready, it's nice and crispy. The cheese is melted, but it doesn't melt the same way the sliced cheese melts, so this is melted. And the uh, burger is also ready. Now we get the salad and we place it at the bottom part here. Now we place slices of tomato, a little bit of salt. Now we get beetroot. And now it's time for the burger. At this point we want to put a little bit of barbecue sauce, my favorite. 
and the prosciutto on top. On top of the barbecue sauce, yes. Now, we, before we place the uh, burger in the plate, we're just gonna do this with barbecue sauce. Just make it look nice. Now we place the burger here and the bread. Chances plate Angus beef burger can be enjoyed. I don't want the burger to get too cold, so I need to go and eat. Thank you very much for watching my show. I will see you in the next Vincenzo's plate recipe. E ora si mangia Vincenzo's plate.